In this project, we're going to build a step uh, attached to my pickup truck so uh, my wife has easier access into the truck. Now, I have a stock 1991 Dodge Cummins diesel pickup truck that we use for hauling our travel trailer. And the, uh, the truck is stock, but it's still high enough off the ground that she has a little bit of difficulty getting into the truck because of her knee surgeries she's had lately. So we're just going to show you how I go about designing and building this particular step. Now not all of my projects have uh, an application that everybody can use, but the uh, website that I have established the Handyman's Haven. The idea of the website is to uh, just to inspire people that uh, like to do a few things around their workshop, have a few tools, and uh, are just afraid to tackle them. So the whole idea of this particular project is not so much that you'll find application for your particular vehicle, maybe you will, maybe you won't, but the idea is that you can see uh, how I go about building things and that it's not that daunting. You just start with uh, an idea and you progress and see how, uh, how it comes along. Now I'll show you the uh, procedure I have to go through every time my wife wants to get into the truck. It's quite cumbersome and time consuming and that's the reason for building a step that's uh, permanently attached to my vehicle. As you can see I have to go ahead and unlock the truck then go back to the back of my truck, open up the canopy, which is always locked, uh, remove the portable step for her, and put it in place, and then help her get into the truck. Then do the whole thing in reverse to put the step back in uh, position, uh, back in the canopy for our uh, next stop. Okay, before we get started, let me show you the drawings for this project. Yeah, and three inches, two inches, three inches, and this is the design of the outer rocker panel, and uh, I guess this is the step. Who am I kidding? There's no drawings for this project. This is uh, build it as you go because it's fairly complicated, and there's just no way you could make a drawing. So let's get on with it. Now let me show you what I've got so far and as far as my construction goes here. Now I purchased the step. There's a little aluminum step here and two, two brackets it comes with. I purchased that for $30 and uh, rather than making the whole thing it looks nicer. It's aluminum and it's just going to make a nicer look on the whole project. Now as I say this project is probably something not everybody's going to uh, try and do but the idea is to inspire my, uh, my group of handyman out there that uh, uh, just want to uh, build something that's handy for themselves. So what I've done here is I've taken an ordinary strap hinge. Here we are. These are actually called uh, heavy 10 inch heavy T hinges. There's a pair of them here. Okay, and that's my, that's my swinging point here for my to swing the step back up under the truck when it's not in use. And then what I did is I took that hinge and I shaped it using heat. You can't bend these without heat and do a good job. So I heated it with my acetylene torch and shaped the hinge here and here and back underneath, back underneath here to actually uh, make a form around the brackets that came with the step. Now I'm going to fit this into the truck underneath the rocker panel and just see how everything works and uh, make sure that everything lines up before I dismantle this and paint it. Okay here we are under the truck. I just managed to set up my tripod under the truck. This project is uh, not really something you can uh, design on paper you get an idea how you want it and uh, basically you go ahead and you uh, work through the steps to uh, 
uh, get the uh, total uh, project finished and I'll just show you some of the aspects of the project as, uh, uh, from underneath the vehicle now. Well here it is from underneath the truck. This is by far one of the most challenging engineering projects I've done plus challenging to film as well because there's not an awful lot of room under here. But you can see what I've got here. This is my pull rod spring loaded that keeps my lock closed and the steps up in place. Now here's a little challenge for you handymen. Tell me what this is in the comments column and uh, there ain't no prize but it's just a, a little thing, a little challenge to my fellow handymen. Tell, find, uh, just tell me what that thing is that holds my stuff up in place and I'll show you how it works by pulling the, the uh, pin right now. Let me show you again. And she's locked in place. Well, I've got to go in now. My wife called me in for coffee and it's time to do a little repairs. As you can see, uh, I did a pretty good gash on the old hand here. But we'll get patched up and come back and refilm, uh, continue on filming. Okay, we're back. Got the old hand patched up here with a butterfly band-aid. Had my coffee. Let's get on with this. Okay, let me show you how I fastened this up. Uh, to hold it in place, it's held up with my rod and latch. There she locks into place nice and solid. Not gonna rattle. And uh, put some reinforcing in here between the two legs. This is a pretty uh, lightweight step. When I bought the step and it just had these two outside edges, so I reinforced it considerably with the uh, steel wrapped around here. Okay, let me show you how it latches up. I think I can do this with one hand without killing myself again. Okay, you can see my uh, my latches here. These are spring latches. Something you'd use on the tailgate of a utility trailer. There's one here and there's one here. So all you do is from the front you pull it up into place, release the latch, and it comes through right here. Pins itself. Same on this one, release the latch. Okay, give the step a slight wiggle, and it pins itself there. So now it's solid. Now in order to uh, bolt the whole system onto the, uh, the truck, I bolted it to the inner body panel. There's an outer panel and an inner panel on the rocker panel. And you can see right here, this is the plate that I added to the uh, hinge. This is the flat 10 inch hinge that I used. Now here are the two uh, supports, sides that support the uh, step. Now I was originally going to use these holes here to uh, bolt these onto the side the underneath of the truck but that's on the edge of the rocker panel so there's not enough meat here so I've added on a section of plate you can see here that uh, now I can get up into some uh, some meat on both sides this one's cut out for a little bit of uh, interference that's in the way now the way I'm going to fasten these uh, onto the body, the inside of the body, this is inside underneath the cab so you can't see it, is I'm going to use what's called a threaded insert tool. It's just like a rivet gun, only use thread on one of these inserts. And the inserts are threaded, they come in different sizes. This is a quarter twenty. So once this is threaded, put into a, a hole in the body, you can crimp this what it does is it crushes the inside just like a rivet but still leaves you with this opening that you can put a quarter inch bolt in. In my case I'm using quarter inch bolts. So now I can just fasten through with a regular quarter inch bolt right into that threaded insert. 
and you can put as many of these in as you want. I've got three in each one. I think that'll be sufficient to hold a person's weight. And we'll test it and we'll see. Now in order to fasten the, uh, the step onto the inner body panel, there's an inner body panel and an outer body panel making up the rocker. And uh, this is a good solid panel here. There's a little bit of surface rust, but it's not rusted out in any way. Not bad for a 22 year old truck. This is a 1991 Dodge Cummins diesel and it's uh, still in beautiful shape yet. So this is where I fastened to the inner panel. Remember earlier I showed you the uh, threaded inserts that I put in? Well, they, they went into the body panel and then my quarter 20 bolts, lock washers, washers, to hold the whole panel or the whole assembly together. Done that on both sides. It's one hinge. This is the other hinge. And fastened in here. Okay, these bolts along the front the bottom here are through the uh, the pinch where the two panels front and outer panels are uh, put together they uh, they're pinched together and there's a flat almost one inch strip there so just to add a little bit more reinforcement I bolted through that as well and I'll show you that on the outside now the reason I'm showing you all this before it's painted up is because once it's painted it'll just all look like one great big flat black assembly and you won't really get an idea of how it's put together at all. And the other thing I did is I ran a piece of aluminum channel here. It's just a piece of aluminum L channel. It's got a little, I don't know if you can see this or not. Oh, poor, shining right up into the light. But I, this is a two inch piece of aluminum and I just ran that along the bottom edge just to give a little more strength with it where I bolted through on these, uh, on the bottom lip of the rocker panel. Now one other thing I did, I noticed when I first tried to step out, um, there was a bit of flex in my step here, my running board. Uh, the step is fastened and locked to the running board so it started to torque a little bit. So what I did here is I added in another piece of angle iron to the uh, bracket on the running board and ran that up to a frame member here and now that's reinforced and it's taken away that flex in the actual running board. So here's the step from the outside and like I said I'd show you where I bolted through the the pinch weld here you can see right here there's bolts along here that help to reinforce and give it a little more strength. Now you notice there's a bit of rust here. This is my brackets for my running board and they have been touched up for quite some time. So once uh, I call the painters in, uh, they're going to get all that done for me and do a nice job. Uh, calling the painters in means I just change hats is, is the expression that we use here in the shop. So uh, that's tomorrow's project. Here I just used a little plastic knob. You can see it to operate my release mechanism for the step and that worked out just fine. Well there you have it. Um, we're going to get at the uh, painting and then we'll come back and show you the finished product tomorrow. Now let me show you some of the, uh, the features that makes this thing operate. My cam locks which are right under here that's what locks the step in place unless I flip them upwards like that to see the top of the knob here but if you uh, flip them down uh, you don't even see them from the road or when you're standing beside the truck the other little item I have here is, is just a plastic knob that's attached to my uh, uh, lock rod which locks the step up in place it's just a matter of pulling that and down the step comes to lock the step in place you just pull it up and release the cam locks there she is just ready to take your weight and you just reverse the procedure to uh, retract the step
and she's locked back in place for travel. Well, now you remember the palaver I had to go through to get my step out of the back of the pickup box and bring it around for my wife. Now I'll show you my little invention here that uh, just stays with the truck and uh, is much easier to operate. 